so let's get uh, a bit deeper into the topic. What is technology transfer? What uh, are the specificities of technology transfer in uh, life, science, uh, life sciences? What opportunities and challenges are there? And what are the tools that, uh, uh, let's say, what is the toolbox that is needed for successful technology transfer? Uh, to talk a little bit about this, I want to invite to the, to the podium uh, Riccardo Pietrabissa, who is the Rector and Professor of Industrial Bioengineering at uh, um, the School for Advanced Studies or US in Pavia. Uh, he's an expert in biomaterials, biomechanics and uh, medical devices, and he's also uh, a, a founder and current president of NETVAL, that is the Association of uh, Universities, uh, Research uh, Institutions uh, that let's say, monitors the situation of technology transfer in Italy and promotes uh, the culture of, the, of technology transfer. So welcome, Riccardo Pietrabissa, and we're eager to thank hear you, your talk. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Nicola. And uh, I'm very proud and happy to be here today for giving this first, uh, really first talk uh, on the first meeting on technology transfer here in Human Technopole, uh, also as a uh, uh, rector of one of the organizer of this meeting indeed. Um, I began to, to think about uh, what technology transfer is uh, and uh, why we should promote activi activities in technology transfer. Uh, let me say more than 20 years ago, it was uh, uh, 2001, when the director in Politecnico di Milano, where I, I were professor at that time, Ask me to establish uh, uh, a technology, uh, not a technology, a patent office. A patent office. So we have no idea how to patent research results, and I had no idea at the time. And so uh, we made a lot of effort, uh, and particularly a lot of errors in doing that. Uh, and we obtained the first success uh, some years later because it is difficult. It's difficult to convince and to talk. Uh, uh, with researchers about uh, technology transfer, about different uh, uh, goals which are not uh, publication of uh, scientific results and so on. So uh, what I, I, I can, uh, I can uh, teach now is uh, what is important not to do, which are the, um, the errors that can uh, um, avoid to obtain success and, uh, and to obtain to reach the goal of our activities and uh, try to identify some of the best practices and which are the best tools in order to obtain some results if we want to obtain them because it's not in the, in the, in the heart let me say of research technology transfer is something that go for so this this, this presentation today um, is uh, is, is been taught uh, in in order to establish a contact with researchers. It's not for for venture capitalists. It's not for people that uh, manage technology transfer. It's for researchers that like to understand, from my experience, what is now on the table for uh, uh, activities in this field. So um, let me start with some some uh, uh, brief introduction. Uh, I think that. Uh, the majority of people that work in research like to be free to make research. Research is something that we, that we understand like a, a freedom area uh, in which what uh, we want to, to search, we can do. And this is a definition, uh, a very, very brief and rough definition of which is the so-called blue sky research. But it's interesting because I underline that uh, Blue sky research is scientific research in domains where real world applications are not immediately apparent. It has been defined as research without a clear goal and curiosity driven science. So, uh, this is very interesting because researchers that make research in, in, in the so called blue sky or fundamental research or basic research is not interested to the application of the research. It's interested in understanding the nature, understanding the world, understanding the human thing, and so on. And this is, uh, I want to start from this very, very, very basic uh, uh, consideration about research. And uh, uh, I want to quote uh, 
uh, Richard Feynman, which has been a Nobel Prize in, in 1965, and uh, he, he, he said that uh, physics is like sex. Sure, it may give some practical result, but that's not why we do it. Uh, I think that the majority of research agree with this, uh, with this quotation. And uh, what we normally do in, in the research field is that this is based on, uh, on something that I call assets of research, which are knowledge, we are know-how, we are infrastructure. This is one of the mission, for instance, of human, techno um, um, human technopole, is to give possibility to, uh, to have uh, uh, infrastructure for research. This is fu fundamental. And the research produces results, which is new knowledge. Normally, we, uh, we uh, use the new knowledge for publication. The publication is part of the improving of the assets in terms of, of know-how for, for the community, for the community. Publication is the traditional value for researchers and is scientific value. What we began to think some years ago and now is on the table is that we, we with, the, with the results, with the new knowledge, we can transfer this, we call this knowledge transfer or technology transfer, depending on in many cases of the field, uh, to generate what we call an impact. Impact on the society, that means progress, new products, new services, and this area is normally considered as an innovation area, innovation in the real world. So this is a, it is a new value, is an extra value that, uh, uh, of course, it is required to select not every new knowledge, can produce innovation, uh, new value, and this new value is also economic value, it's a social value, it's industrial value, it's other values outside from the traditional scientific value. Normally, in the, in the public, let me say, public research organization, uh, the, the old criteria is the 100% uh, the of research result should improve uh, assets at very few or almost zero uh, is required to go for innovation. Uh, now, in the, in the new uh, public research organization, and this also for, for many, many reasons, uh, also for the financial support and the grants, is, is required that 100% goes again to the, to the uh, assets, but is required that an X percent that can change depending in many cases also on the field is different for engineering, physics, chemistry, or, or medical, and biological, should, should be uh, devoted for innovation. This is completely different from what happens in the so-called private research organization, for instance, a, a research center within a company in which normally the 100% should be devoted to uh, innovation, a very few depending on the, on, the, on the secret level of that company, should be published. So normally when we interface public and private research organization, this can create some, some questions, some problems. This is the first point. Um, it's normally considered that research is uh, addressed normally and uh, to uh, generate progress in the society. This is very evident in, in, in some countries in which a lot of money uh, are given for research, uh, and, and this generate progress, progress generate benefit, and all this uh, induced to finance, again, research. What is no normal is this path is not a, a, a path that uh, can be followed spontaneously. Because if the researchers publish the research results in publication, is for the a very uh, small co scientific community, is not for everyone. So there is a question also in uh, not only in transfer technology, but also in communication science and so on. So it is a very complex system. Uh, we consider that uh, surely there are two other uh, steps. One is uh, the so-called innovation or innovative steps. And the, the second is the market. The market, I mean, not only the, the commercial or the financial market, but the market in which you give valorization to your innovation in order to generate progress. 
So the, the path is much more greater. And uh, in, in this path, uh, there are the, the role of technology transfer, that is the capacity to extract from research results those that can produce innovation in the market. And the second is the money. The money is, is fundamental for all this uh, um, project because money is a way to give an evaluation of the potential value for the progress and for the benefit of society of that innovation and is something that can be in part transferred to generate new research and so on. So it's a, it's a closed loop system. Um, so the, the three main points are understanding, so the, the knowledge, the new knowledge generated by research is applying, that is uh, application of new knowledge to generate new products, new services, new technologies, useful of, of course, for the, for the human being, for the, for the environment and so on. And so improving benefit and wealth to the society. Technology transfer and money are tools are tools okay so we are not to to look and to and to check and and, uh, and asking to obtain patent and so on these are tools okay the, the general framework is this one um, in in this sense the role of technology transfer as a tool is capability to to understand to select new research results and to address those this new knowledge for particular application to generate progress. This is not easy. It's not an easy task. Because this requires people who are skilled in understanding research results, but also very skilled in generating application, in some cases in market or in technology, which are different from the one that the researchers have imagined at this, uh, at this level. Uh, in some cases, this, this capability to transfer research results to the market require a, a third party, which is a company. And the company may be a, a third company, uh, existing company, or in some cases, they establish a new startup company, which start with uh, this new knowledge and it, which main role is to go on the market with some new products based on that. In this case, Normally, also the researchers is part of this new company because he is able to, to drive the company with his knowledge on, on the particular uh, results. So this is, is a general framework of what we are talking about uh, uh, with technology transfer. This is a, a so-called old paradigm of technology transfer. We have worked uh, uh, around the world for, for uh, uh, tens of years. Uh, uh, on, on that, and we, the, the, one of the, of the critical point of, of this picture is that in many cases is very limited to particular kinds of research. Not every kind of research can pass through this uh, this process. Not every kind of, of research can be patented, for instance. So, in, in the larger framework of uh, uh, research organization, we began to talk about uh, knowledge transfer, which is something greater than technology transfer. We can transfer not only something that uh, uh, belongs to technology in, in, in real sense, but also something that belongs to capability to do, to do something. Uh, there is something that is related to social sciences and so on. And again, there are two new words, uh, which uh, are knowledge exchange and knowledge transformations. This belong to the capability to involve more actors in, uh, in the process. In the third ca case uh, is uh, cooperation among different actors, uh, researchers, students, institutions, companies, to generate the impact uh, uh, of research results. And the, the last one, knowledge transformation, is the capability of combining different, uh, um, different uh, research results uh, to generate uh, impact uh, using the innovative complexities can, that can generate. Okay, so this is a, is a framework of where we were and where we are going now uh, in, in, the, in the field. 
If you want to, to, to establish a very, a very rough uh, uh, classification of the main phases of this process, the first is research, the second is development, and the third is application. Uh, research means that uh, uh, someone may produce new knowledge, something that was not known before, and normally, you go to, to give a, a publication, to obtain publication for the community. This new knowledge can produce a hypothesis of new solution for some problem. Okay, so we introduce the problem that can be solved in part, solved in part with new knowledge. This belongs to the, 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 the field of research and researchers. In many cases, this new solution can be patented if it's an invention. We will see when we have a, a lecture on more focus on the different phases what this means. But some cases, new solution for a problem is an invention and can be patented. So it can be acquired as a property uh, that can be managed as, as a property. Um, if we have the, the proof of concept, uh, the, the testing of this solution, and it seems good, this is a so-called development phase. So I want to establish that this idea, this hypothesis of solution is tested, is validated, and can be useful for uh, application. So that with capital, because this is necessary to invest money uh, in technology, in products, yeah, we can go to the application uh, in the real world. So this is a process. In, uh, let me say, generally, in different field of uh, technological research, but also in scientific research in many cases. There is a, a particular difference, in my opinion, in the, the, the kind of research that is a great part of, uh, uh, of uh, life science research, which I call here research in medicine. Because in the case of research in medicine, it is very common that the researchers is an idea of the possible application at the beginning. This is different from physics, it's different from chemistry in many cases. In the field of medicine, the researchers has an idea of the possible application of the res results of research. Because the motivation is not only curiosity, but also the, the interest in solving a problem that is, say, it is, is able to, to observe in the, in, the, in the day life in the hospital, for instance. So what is different? At the, in the case of research in medicine, normally the researchers is able to conduct part of this path on, also in the proof of concept, in the testing. And this is a, a extraordinary advantage for the researchers in, in medicine with respect to the research in other fields in which normally in other fields, they stop with the idea of the solution. It's not with the testing of the solution. Uh, now, uh, uh, the situation in, in Europe is particularly interesting. Uh, this is, uh, is a figure, you can see the date from the, the beginning of the, uh, one year ago, let me say. This is the last uh, uh, report of the European Patent Office. European Patent Office is a body that uh, uh, manage the patent we are uh, uh, filed in, in Europe, okay? Uh, not only from European um, uh, owner, but uh, worldwide you can apply for having a patent in uh, uh, Europe. So these are patents from the patent office. And now you can see there are three fields, which are medical technology, pharmaceuticals and biotechnologies, which are now the larger field of uh, patent in Europe this last year. You can see that med medical technology is number one. Uh, more than uh, digital communication, this can be strange, or, or computer technology and so on. And as a growing rate, the largest is uh, pharmaceutical, uh, the second is biotech, and the third is uh, medical technology. So this of the life sciences is a field in which the majority of investment for new invention and patent is present. In particular, if you can see uh, how this is distributed in, uh, in, in, the, in all the countries, you can see that uh, medical technology that is back in the lead 
Uh, now uh, the comparison is very similar uh, Euro from European countries and from US. Uh, in, the, in the field of pharmaceutical that grow more than 10% with respect to the previous year, uh, again, the uh, US and the European country has largely the majority of, of patent. Um, in the case of biotech, uh, biotech is, is, is more a uh, general field and it's not only medical, as you know, but in the case of biotech, uh, you can see that uh, European country has the majority of activity that produce uh, uh, patent. So this is very important and can have also with this an idea of uh, the, the market interest in, in this field. I want to uh, show you uh, an interesting case. This is a research I, I, I did some years ago. Indeed, but anyway, is uh, is um, is interesting in my opinion. Uh, how is moving uh, the interest of the, of this field of technology transfer using patent uh, as a, as a key point? Uh, you know very well that uh, there are some pathologies that now uh, can be uh, treated with uh, technologies. This is a, is a classical case, uh, very normal of uh, osteoarthritic. Uh, in this case, I present osteoarthritic knee. Um, and uh, the, the regular, the normal solution is the prosthesis. Prosthesis is a technological product, it's a medical device. It's nothing related to biology. Okay, is metal, is uh, organic material, so uh, some years ago uh, it began to to grow the, the the interest of substituting cartilage, damaged cartilage, with uh, the so-called bioartificial cartilage. You, this is something related to tissue engineering and technology of managing cells uh, and growing cells with particular um, scaffolds and so on. Uh, the first prosthesis is very common very common every day used in every hospital. Bioartificial cartilage is very rare, is not on the market uh, like the first one. But if you can, can see uh, as a growth, these are uh, data in, uh, in the market uh, uh, from medical devices, which include old medical devices and uh, tissue engineering and cell therapy, which include all of that. You can see that uh, medical device is very important. Uh, this is uh, the uh, data from the worldwide very important, but the growth in the last uh, uh, 12 years is to be doubled. While in the in the field of uh, cell therapy, uh, it's changed from, from uh, uh, 7 to 35, five times. So the growth is much more rapid. And we can, can imagine that in the last time, say 20 years, 30 years, probably this new kind of technology will substitute the old technology of using material like metal or plastic material. Uh, this is interesting. If you look at the, at the patent trend, well, what are the interest in having property of solution? You can see the green lines represent the field of joint prosthesis. Patent, we have joint prosthesis in the, in the, in the title or in the abstract. And you can see that is normally uh, uh, reach a plateau or about 100 per year. Why in the field of tissue engineering there is an extraordinary growth in number of patents applied on this field, starting more recently at uh, the end of the 90s. Uh, if you see uh, who, are, who are the first 20 uh, applicants that the, the larger portfolio of patent in the field, this is uh, the field of joint prosthesis, and you can see that all all of the uh, first 20 patent uh, applicants in terms of number of patents are companies. They had to defend the market. So they use patent to defend the market. And see, it's interesting because the fourth is Bank of America. Why Bank of America? Because in US, you can give a patent for guarantee a, a loan, a financial loan. So they have a lot of patent as a share with company that they finance for, for the market. If you can see the, the, the network, so the relation uh, for a single patent between uh, different uh, uh, bodies, you can see that in the central there is Bank of America. They finance all the, the companies that produce in the United States 
uh, this, this, uh, this kind of products on the base of patent. These are the first 20 applicants in the field of tissue engineering. And we are only two companies. All the others have universities and research centers. We have no market. So they are not interested to defend a product on the market. The first one is US Health, which is the NIH, the agency that give money for research and of course, want to have a share in the patent. What is this? This is the capability to be involved in the next phase in which company want to develop or will develop, develop a new product based on research because they have the patent and they can, can negotiate the patent for having money for make research. So it's very fundamental, this also strategy. It's a strategy of medium long time but it's a very important strategy. And you can see how many universities from China, for instance, in this, in this field. This is very interesting. Uh, in, the US, in the United States, the two, the two major knots on, on the net are, as you can see before, US Health, NIH, and MIT. Okay? This is a situation. You can read with this data what is happening in the strategic area for having the ownership of research results, which is free from the knowledge, but is, is fixed and is owned for the application and the solution. So let me uh, go briefly to the conclusion. Uh, if we talk about uh, uh, life sciences and uh, technology transfer in life sciences, it's important to make a difference among different types of research. Because different is uh, perform technology transfer in the field of pharma, in the field of device, biotech, or digital application. Also, there are also some innovation in life science in digital field, but it's very much more easy uh, to uh, develop technology transfer in the digital than in the, in the pharma. So also the tools and the practice are completely different. The, the second phase, I already said, is development. Also, in the case of development, you know that uh, to develop a, a drug is much more uh, expensive and requires a lot of time in comparison with digital. Different, again, is a device. It depends on the kind of device, uh, of course, and so on. And uh, to define the application, which require regulatory affairs, which require experiments, and so on to reach the market. If you look at this, uh, at these uh, four phases uh, of the activity, we can find uh, three, three topics I want to, to focus. The first is uh, the money involved, the complexity and the technology. Uh, as I require the, the money, uh, normally we consider that the money for research is the lower part of the money required to reach the market. It's much more expensive normally, the development phase and the application phase. But we think that in this field, the, the return on the investment can be larger than the investment. We don't know why, when will appear. So this uh, is a probably a risk. The second is the complexity. We should manage complexity because uh, it's very rare that you, that you, have, you follow a, a linear uh, process is a very normally is a complex process. So we had to combine knowledge in physics, in chemistry, mathematics, and biology, informatics. Uh, so normally technology transfer require combination of knowledge, at least in the first two steps, from research to development to development to application. And technology that normally is following phase uh, from development to application to application to markets require Scaling up is not so easy to scale from lab to, to, to production, quality assurance, protection, production capability, economy and management capability, low because the, you, you can have different problems from country to country and so on. So the process is complex. It's not a process that, that each of us can follow by itself. This is not possible. The three main point, uh, knowledge transfer, technology transfer, and impact uh, require to manage these three points. One is time, which is the time required to reach the market, so which is the risk, the second point, uh, in terms of money, 
because uh, you know if you if you ask money for make develop development uh, you should uh, evaluate how much money uh, for how much time which is the risk of that so to manage time cost and risk uh, you should be you should be skilled not only in your research capability and activity but also in the process of the technology transfer and uh, um, uh, the, the last very the very last two uh, first is that uh, as i told you scientific research is something that produces knowledge knowledge normally is considered a model a model means something that can be applied to different cases in different field and normally is done on the basis of disciplines each research belongs to a disciplines for methodology for knowledge and so on the development phase is addressed to uh, phase projects, which are something that go through innovation in different field area, larger area than disciplines, and industrial application, of course, go to the market for the economic impact and the wealth of the society. Uh, also, if the first is driven as a beginning from curiosity or from scientific questions, uh, the second is the capability to transfer knowledge for some project that in many cases may be different from the, from the uh, basis, the scientific basis, and then to transfer technology that has been tested to the application. But the process should be considered complex, where complex again means that different disciplines can contribute for the solution, and this then technology can contribute to the final application of, let me say, every, every uh, practical uh, solution. So, just to, to give a, 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 the last uh, consideration, normally we consider that uh, from public research, let me say uh, independent research that is based on, on interest in, in knowledge, to private uh, application which is interest in the impact, the three phases which are research development and application normally are considered that research do your job and transfer your raw results that is knowledge or let me say something more arranged but again knowledge and the development phase should be done by the company this is a is a in my opinion is a very old and uh, and uh, not good uh, solution or, or, or sketch because you you give to the other the risk and if you give to the other the risk your, the, your value is very low. We should be able to manage part of this and so to put part of the development phase more close to the research and to, to be able to begin to think at the, how to address this is the case of the startup, this is the case of what we want to do in the terms of uh, technology transfer facilities that help you in understanding the possible role to play together some risk in this phase and to transfer not the idea but the project based on that. So this is the goal, let me say, the last goal of uh, what I believe, believe uh, uh, technology, uh, human technopole as in mind, in the, mind is not a, <laughs> is not a, a word. Is as in mind to to do with this uh, to this process, and and this is the framework in which uh, we hope to to join together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to Ricardo Pietrabissa. Uh,